Hello and welcome to Your Journey Yoga. I'm Cheryl. Today we're going to go over boat pose. Um, it is a wonderful pose uh, to build core strength, hamstring flexibility, actually working biceps as well. It is a full body um, strengthening move. So um, lots and lots of benefits uh, for boat, but it can also be very, very challenging. So if you are taking care of your lower back um, if your tailbone does not love boat pose. Some um, options that you can do that I will share with you. First and foremost, if your tailbone does not love a hard surface below you, you can take your mat and actually fold it back on itself to create a triple layer of mat and that's what you're going to sit on. I, fortunately and unfortunately, have plenty of cushion um, on my bum, so I am all good. So I'm going to turn sideways so that it's easier to see. Now to start in our boat pose, our feet are going to be hip width apart, our knees are hip width apart, we're going to bring our hands behind our thighs and we're going to rock back just slightly. So initially when you're starting boat pose, what we want to focus on is lifting through the chest. So I want you to feel like there's this magnet on your chest and above you at about a 45 degree angle and that's going to lift your chest that's going to help keep this out of your lower back so if in doing so this is enough work with those feet staying down perfect stay there until it's not quite so much work and you're like ah i think i'm ready to rock back to release those toes are we still lifting that chest are we drawing our belly button in and up Shoulders are soft, so no tension in that neck. So this is our boat pose, and there is a bazillion modifications, intensifications, variations of boat pose. So if we're ready, and you feel, yeah, I'm good, strong, my back feels amazing, I am ready to take it on, you can extend your arms. If, by chance, you feel like you are, and then all of a sudden, oof, we start to sink in, and you've got this hollowness in your tummy, or your belly's pushing out, we're not quite ready yet. So bring those hands back to behind the thighs. Lift the chest and draw that belly button in. We always wanna feel that belly button drawn in. So analogy, uh, a needle and thread. You've taken it, there's a big knot on the end of that thread. You've taken the needle through your belly button, out your back, and you pull it. And that knot pulls that belly button in towards your back. Sounds terrible, but that's a good analogy. So I want you to kind of really focus on that. So if the arms are extended, so progression here, we're going to bring the knees to touch. So just by bringing the knees together, now you've activated those adductor muscles along your inner thighs. Amazing. So now we're working the outer hips. We're working the insides of the legs, those adductor muscles. We are really working the core muscles. We're lifting the chest and soft through the shoulders. Now as you want to start to intensify, you can start to lift those feet. You can lift them a lot. You can lift them a little. You can extend those legs all the way out. Are we still lifted through the chest? Have you sunk into that lower back? How is your lower back? Be nice to it. Now you can slowly start to open. I laugh and call this yacht pose. So now we're just a giant boat, right? It's still boat pose, you guys. Draw that belly button in and back. Shaky, beautiful. We love shaky. Now there's this little bit of hollowness going on through the tummy and chest. Now rise. Back to boat, bend the knees, bring the hands to support, and rock it forward. Beautiful job. Soles of the feet come together, and we just round over. So just a little variation here. Just gonna take a second to let you kind of let your lower back relax a little bit. Now starting at the tailbone, slowly roll it up, one vertebra at a time. So we sit up nice and tall. Let's bring those knees together. Now you're done with boat, unless you want to see the variations. So there's some fun variations. So that if you have progressed to the point where you're like, love yacht pose, love boat pose, bring it on. So here, join me. Otherwise, have a wonderful day. Come back and see me when you're ready. Or hang out and watch and you can just have fun laughing at me. All right, guys. So here we are in our boat pose. Right, so we have progressed to the point where we no longer need to have those hands behind the thighs. You may or may not already be able to lift those legs. That really isn't that big of a deal. Knees come together. We're gonna flex our feet. Now we're gonna extend left leg out. Great, now it doesn't have to be a full extension. 
you can do a partial extension. So the beautiful thing with this is there's a lot of gray area. It's not black and white, lots of room to play. Pull that left knee in, right leg extends. Is that belly button still pushed in? Is the chest still lifted? You can always correct yourself, but always check in. So we're kind of coming in, we're like bicycling those legs with a little pause. So now this is starting to really kick in. Those quadriceps, tons through those hip flexors, lower abs. We're getting that length in the hamstrings and length in the calf. So usually, I don't know, four or five of these guys each side should get you warm and fuzzy inside. Good, soles of the feet, round forward, release it out. Okay, one more variation. If you like, great little core segment here. Rolling it up, close the knees, back to boat. So another one I love, and if you guys know me well, you've probably done this with me a number of times. We're gonna extend the legs. We've got support behind those legs. Point your toes. Now you can keep your uh, support or release it, but I want that belly button to stay in and slowly, slowly, slowly start to lower those legs. Release the heels. Flex your feet, reach to the sky. Exhale, lengthen, hinge it forward. Release your hands and relax the weight of the head. Oh, forward fold feels so good. Inhale, reaching out. Sit up nice and tall and release those arms. And let's turn back. So, boat pose, you guys, there's still tons of different variations and fun ways to play with boat pose, but that's just a few. Um, keep coming back to me, um, subscribe to the channel, and uh, we can have super fun together and challenge ourselves and um, just explore. But uh, always without judgment, always without criticism, always with a big smile on our face, I say that. That's the hope, right? We always do our best to stay positive and to keep that smile on our face. Um, but thanks for joining me. That was Boat Pose. If you guys have any questions or if you want to see more variations, um, just let me know. I'm always happy to share. That's why I'm here for you guys. So be well. Stay, he stay healthy. Stay safe. Stay sane. Be kind. Until the next time, my friends. Namaste.